G'day Brian, welcome to Fort Knox and welcome to Melbourne. Thank you. How you doing, Brian? Um, good. You're from Queensland. To be honest, I don't know a real lot about your career. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? How many how many amateur and pro fights have you had? Um, I had uh, 20 amateur fights, uh, 15 wins. I've had uh, nine pro fights, uh, six wins. And um, yeah, looking forward to this fight tomorrow night. Okay, tomorrow night you take on uh, former Chinese national Wu Zhao Chong. Mm -hmm. um, you must be pretty excited about fighting an international uh, former amateur champion. Yeah, it's great. I mean, um, pretty much all I think is I just want to win the fight. So whoever's standing in front of me is the person I want to beat. Um, I mean, him coming from from China and. That doesn't mean that much to me, but um, all I have in my mind is, you know, win the fight. Okay, like most Queenslanders, I'm sure you're keen to do your stake in your country proud on tomorrow. Oh, most definitely, and that's um, yeah, and that's why winning the fight's just all I allow into my head, and um, that's the plan for tomorrow. Okay, to win the, to win the fight, you come with a reputation as being a tough and durable fighter. Um, we hope that you'll turn it on. I'm, I'm no doubt that you will turn it on for the crowd tomorrow night. Yeah, I'm a sort of fighter who'll fight anyone and um, put everything into it to win. Um, you know, I'm not scared of any fighter or anything like that. You know, win or lose, it's always going to be a good fight. Tough fight with Brian Fogarty. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, well, good luck tomorrow, Brian. I'm sure you'll, with your attitude, you'll win plenty of fans tomorrow night. Oh, thanks a lot. Thanks, Brian. G'day, Wu Zhao Chong. Welcome to Australia. Yeah, thanks, Brian. <laughs> OK. So, tomorrow night you have your first professional bout at Fort Knox under the guidance of your trainer and mentor, Murray Thompson. Uh, you very happy to be here in Australia? Yeah, I'm very good. I feel it's very, very good. You've had quite an accomplished career for uh, as an amateur for China, five times national champion, um, five in the World Cup in 1998. Uh, you feel good about turning professional? Um, uh, it's yeah, he feels, he feels good about it. He's happy, very confident about turning professional. Okay. Tomorrow night you take on Brian Fogarty from Queensland. Um, do you know anything about Brian Fogarty, your opponent? No, we don't, we don't know a lot about him, only that um, he fought in Melbourne two weeks ago. Um, Wu wasn't worried about the weight, it was about three or four kilos difference, but ended up weighing in exactly the same, because Wu wasn't worried about his weight. The other guys come down from about 65, so it's uh, not a lot of people who fight Wu. Um, I had the pleasure of seeing Wu spar it down at your gym, Murray. Uh, uh, really sort of turned it on for the people there. Um, plenty of talent. How do you think he's going to go? Oh, he's going to go very good. He's had two amateur fights since he arrived in Australia around halfway through June. Uh, one, he stopped the Australian silver medalist. And the other one, he fought uh, and beat Greg Eadies. And Greg, Greg Eadies is very good. Yeah, Greg Eadies is a prospect I've been reading about in the Fist magazine. Yeah, and he, and he beat him on points and um, it primed him right to turn pro. So now, we'll, big one. Okay, uh, I just want to ask Wu. Happy to be in Melbourne? Mm, very happy. Okay. Thanks. Would you like to make Melbourne your home, Wu? Uh, <laughs> like to live here. Yeah, to live here. Okay. Not, not in the pub. Not in the pub. <laughs> okay. Fast track to the Australian title, Murray, with with Wu. Yeah, with guys his weight. There's not many guys his weight, so it'll be a fast trip there. Okay. So you're prepared to put him in with any junior lightweights in in Australia? Yeah, well, I mean Gary St. Clair is probably the best one, featherweight junior lightweight. Um, you know, we'd like a couple of fights before him, but I mean there's only a couple of fights. You can fight him. Okay, well, we look forward to seeing uh, the explosive explosiveness of Wu Zhao Chong tomorrow. Um, good luck, Wu. Thank you. Big crowd in attendance here at Fort Knox in Melbourne. A rather chilly night outside. Snow, snow on the Dandenongs, I think. But in honour of the late great Mick Canavan, the punters are out in their numbers, and we have an exciting program coming your way. First up, 
Well, it is going to be a clash between one of the new faces here on the Victorian scene, Wu Xiaozong, all the way from China, making his professional debut at 27. We've heard about his decorated amateur career. And Brian Fogarty, 6-3 and three as a pro with one KO. To his credit, we've seen him on big-time boxing before. And as you see there, the tail of the tape, well, Fogarty is going to be taller than his opponent, but in terms of the reach, well, it is 173 centimetres half piece. Both have come in under the limit. And we are set to go on the Junior Welterweight Division, our first event of the evening. To tell us a little bit more, here is Mr Bill Fisher. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Melbourne's Fort Knox for a Murray Thompson fight night. A night when we honour one of the greats of the game, Mick Canavan. A memorial night for Mick, and we've got seven events on the card to pay homage to him, culminating, of course, in the light heavyweight title fight between Muller and Murdoch, and that promises to be a bruising encounter coming up later on tonight. First up, though, we've got a welterweight clash. This is to be staged over six three-minute rounds. And coming out of the red corner, a fighter who's been in this ring nine times before. He's won six, he's lost three. He's ranked number five in Queensland. He's come south to prove he can match it with anyone they want to put up against him. He tipped the scales at 63.55 kilos. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Fogarty. Out of the blue corner. He comes from China. He only arrived here in June, but he comes with an impressive record. It's his professional debut, but as an amateur, 122 fights, and he had 112 wins. His last fight, he beat Greg Eady, one of our big hopefuls for the Athens Olympics. Ladies and gentlemen, they call him the friendly assassin. We'll find out tonight how friendly he is. Wu Xiao Zong! Your referee for this fight, ladies and gentlemen, is Malcolm Bullner. And your judges, Joe Mann, Brian Membry, and Anika Williams. Okay, you can go on. Brian. Okay, gentlemen, we'll have a good, clean fight. Obey my instructions at all times. Shake hands before that last sound. You understand? Shake hands now. Come on, fighting at the bell. Good luck to both your fighters. Malcolm Bullner with the final instructions for Wu Zhao Song and Brian Fogarty. Our opening event at junior Walter White level set to go. Former junior lightweight champion of the world, Barry Michael at ringside. And we're certainly looking Where's forward to this appearance from Good Wu Zhao Song. Okay. Excellent amateur yep. record. Second out, here we go, we're in round one. Six threes as we get underway. Absolutely awesome amateur record, John. Uh, 122 fight for 112 wins, and uh, they expect really big things from this boy. On paper, it looks like a big job for Brian, even though he's got the professional experience behind him. It's Fogarty's second trip to Melbourne this month. He was here two weeks ago, losing a four round to Shannon McMahon. Coming oh, He seemed, he seemed pretty clear, but it was a beautiful clean left hook, flush on the chin. Oh, there it just missed by a fraction. Yeah, so I'm looking for the left hook. I think this is going to be short and sweet. He's hurt again. Don't force his head down. Box. Brian Fogarty vulnerable for that vicious left hook of Wu Xiao Song. Don't hang in there. Don't hang in there. Don't breathe. Don't breathe. Is Wu again pressing forward? Fogarty in the red corner and with some problems. Don't breathe. Wu wants to finish here in the first round on debut. Oh, Fogarty, I've seen him fight the ball. Very capable boxer. way around the ring but he's one of the guys have awesome hands. good right hand this punch of the fight so far from Fogarty landed the right hand but Wu didn't even flinch and still coming forward with an obvious edge in power yeah no he's powerful this guy he's, 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 he's caught a couple of flush on the chin Fogarty did a lot of trouble Wu looking for it Big introduction into Australian boxing. Fogarty's still unsteady. Landing shots though. Oh, one 
who's ranked number eight in the world at the moment by the WBO, but he had no answer to the power of Wu Xiaozong. No disgrace to be stopped by a guy of this calibre. I mean, he's had a lot of, hell of a lot of amateur experience. He's been in with, you know, he's won a world amateur title. What more can you say? He's got a big future in front of him, this boy. He certainly looks to have the goods. Wu Xiaozong. And he comes up with a first round KO victory here against Brian Fogarty. Ladies and gentlemen, two minutes and four seconds in the first round. Stopped by the doctor, your winner, in his professional debut, Wu Zhao Zong. Presenting Wu with his medallion for the well, win. I'm reminded of Costa Zeus' debut in Australia, where he won in the first round with a KO victory. Actually, yeah, I was did think of that, to be honest, and uh, yeah, shades of Costa Zoo. Hey? It's great to see these uh, international fighters coming and, you know, taking up residence here in Australia and furthering our professional game. And Murray this Thompson, obviously, a highly accomplished performer there to work with. Wu Zhao Zong lives up to all expectations. In terms of the junior welterweight rankings here in Australia at the moment, Fred Knuthia, champion with an 8-2 and two record. Rostia Zoo, the undisputed world champion. Love more to do. Northall Benaraba, Stephen Marks, Wade Cloud, and Nick Totoris rounding out the top five. And as I told you, well, Wu Zhao Zong will be making some inroads into the Australian top ten before too long as well. Cam, how you going? 